Have you ever heard the quote, treat others the way you would like to be treated? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video on surgical etiquette when the patient first enters the room. So first off, let's put ourselves in the patient's shoes. They are coming into the hospital to have a procedure done and they may not know the outcome of the procedure. They don't know if they're gonna have cancer or if it's gonna be a benign tumor or whatever the surgical procedure that's gonna be done. They don't know 100% if it's gonna be successful. There's a lot of what ifs when it comes to surgery and a patient coming into the hospital to have a procedure done. So you can imagine for someone that doesn't help perform surgery every day like a medical professional like like you know surgical techs and nurses and and surgeons these you know normal pedestrian uh, patients that we get into the OR they are scared they are very scared and and rightly so they should be scared because this is like a world of unknown it's you, they really have no idea what to expect you're, you are having surgery on your body. It's, it's not an easy thing to cope with. Which brings me to my next point. Introduce yourself when that patient comes into the OR. Make, help make them feel at ease, or at least as much at ease as humanly possible when you're you know, being wheeled into to the OR and you're about to be operated on. Um, I always, whenever the patient comes into the room, if I am helping the nurse wheel the patient and transport him back, I will introduce myself to them. Uh, if I'm still scrubbed in at the table and I'm still setting up my case, I will stop and turn around and you know, say, hello ma'am, my name is Shane Friedman, I am a surgical tech and I will be assisting and helping out Dr. So-and-so for your procedure today. You just try anything possible to help keep that patient at ease. Now if you are done setting up your case and you have time to go with the nurse over to pack you and go grab that patient and, and transport them back to the OR, absolutely do that. Be, be a team player and, and help your nurse out in that way. If the nurse goes to grab the patient and they're wheeling them back in and you know you have just finished setting up your case, you can go ahead and scrub out help transport that patient over to the OR table. It's, it's just being a team player and it's, it's making sure that you are involved in every step of the procedure and every step of the patient care in the OR. Now as soon as that patient is moved on to the OR table, uh, you can take the transport bed out of the room. You can go put it in a hallway, in a nook in the hallway and keep that out of the room and out of the way come back in and the nurse is usually hooking up EKG monitors, pulse ox. You can grab some warm blankets from the uh, blanket warmer. Usually all of our ORs have a blanket warmer that's very close by for warm blankets. Because these rooms are cold and all of these EKG pads and bovi pads and all this stuff that we put on our patients, it's all cold. So it's nice to have some warm blankets. And this whole like session of us putting things on the patient, we always tell the patients, we always joke with them and say, you know, this is the part where we're like a NASCAR pit crew. We're coming at you with all sorts of stuff, sticking it all over your forehead or on your body. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's just a joke that, you know, a lot of patients here, I'm, I'm sure if you've had multiple surgeries, you might've heard it multiple times, but coming at you like a NASCAR pit crew. Yeah, baby. Way to go. Way to go, way to go. Nice deck work, Ricky. Hey, shake and bake, Cal. Woo, shake and bake. One very important thing to note uh, as far in regards of surgical etiquette is when we are hooking up all those monitors and things to the patient, we always try and keep conversation going with the patient to try and keep their mind away from what's happening right now. You know, we may ask them where they're from, where they grew up, where their favorite vacation spot was. Just anything to try and keep their mind at ease and away from being scared about having to have surgery. That time when you are 
hooking up monitors and the patient is still awake is not a time to be talking about what you guys ate for dinner last night or what you ate for dinner last night. Uh, it's not a time when you're asking the nurse, you know, questions about a TV show that you watched last night. That type of idle talk happens when the patient is not awake. It's, it's not okay to be talking about that type of stuff while the patient is there. Always include them in conversation to help keep them at, a, at ease while they're, while they're still awake. Now as soon as all the monitors are on the patient and they are ready to go, the anesthesiologist will usually hand the O2 mask over to whoever is assisting him, nurse or tech, and just place it on the face of the, of the patient. And that's basically just to kind of saturate the lungs of the patient, get that uh, pulse ox up to 100 before they are ready to intubate the patient. As that oxygen mask is over the face of the patient, that's usually the last thing that patients remember before they fall asleep. Because at that time, the anesthesiologist is usually pushing the propofol and they will fall asleep to an oxygen mask on their face. Intubation happens. Sometimes you need to assist with cricoid pressure or you know pulling the stylet out of the ET tube. And then you move on to getting ready for that uh, that patient shaving chest shaving legs wherever you are helping out the nurse with all of that type of stuff but the most important things I wanted to talk about in this video about surgical etiquette were all related to when the patient is awake those those are the, those are the times when you really want to focus on keeping that patient at ease and including them in on what's going on around them at the same time. You don't want them to feel isolated out on this cold OR bed. You want to help them feel at ease because this, this room is like our home and we want them to be invited into our home and to feel welcome and for them to feel like they are a part of this and, and not just the person being operated on. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Surgical etiquette is such an important thing when that patient is awake and in the room. I don't remember really studying that or learning that in school, so I felt like it was a video that needed to be made. So, yeah. Thanks guys for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Smash the like button. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you again.